and well, welcome to EHA Campus Talks, the video podcast at Ernst Abe Hochschule Jena. Today we want to talk about the experiences of studying as an international student, student at the EAH and as you might have noticed, we are speaking in English and this is because we have a special guest today, Raul Hernandez from Honduras. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. <laughs> Raul did his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering um, in his home country and he has worked at various power plants and companies in Honduras. Um, he now studies uh, the International Master's Program Scientific Instrumentation at EAH uh, here with us. And um, yeah, welcome and thanks for coming today. Thank you. Yeah. So we jump into the interview right now. Um, my first question for you would be, um, why have you chosen to study in Jena at this kind of small um, um, Hochschule? because there are so many other universities and um, possibilities to study in Jena, uh, in Germany. So what was your motivation to choose this one specifically? Okay. Um, well, actually, uh, the master's degree, all the program and the classes, how you can find the information of this master's degree is, was like really simple. And I really like it how the classes are structured in a way that you can know what you're going to learn in every one of the classes. So I was looking for a master's degree that is according to my professional experience that is going to be uh, help me to gain uh, more chances for landing a job. And why did I choose Jenna? Uh, Well, the city is uh, only like 100,000 inhabitants and 20% of the inhabitants are students. So that's something like it really dragged my attention because that means that uh, students or young professional, they are really attracted to this city. And I found so a lot of good things about here that it was a safe place, it was a clean place. The Grüne Hearts, the Grüne Hearts von Deutschland. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, Honduras is the heart from the continent. If you grab a map and you look, Honduras is in the middle of the continent. So yeah, it's like, uh, I came from the heart of the continent, now I'm in the green heart in, of Deutschland. Oh, well said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and how did you find out about um, the EAH? And then, as a second question, did uh, the fact that the program is taught in English impact your decision to come here? But uh, so, but how did you find about find out about Jena? Yes, I used the uh, that webpage. Mm -hmm. uh, that webpage has an incredible database of the programs at the university and mm -hmm. it was really easy to use mm -hmm. because you can sort out using uh, your field of interest the years of how many going to be the duration of the program okay. the filters using German or if you want to uh, have the program in English and well in this moment I only have the as by Nivau in mm -hmm. German and so that's why I choose a program that's going to be in English taught and and yeah I will say that English uh, was a big factor mm -hmm. in order to choose this program and I, I think that here I'm going to learn by immersion the Dutch Sprache <laughs> and, and yeah I, I, I think that maybe in eight months uh, I'm the best room having in my Dutch Ich hoffe, ich brauche, unbedingt. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But the whole master's program is taught in English. Yes, That's the right. whole master is taught in English. Mm -hmm. uh, all the professors speak uh, really good English. Uh, they always concern about if you are understanding. Yeah, they introduce uh, always asking the question. Uh, do you have any question from yesterday lecture? Mm. Uh, in the middle, they always ask, hey, are you following me? And at the end, the same question uh, do you have any question of what we have told today and that, that, that's a really nice thing because uh, that is uh, they are really concerned that we are getting all mm -hmm. that what they are saying so so yeah mm -hmm. 
And when you enrolled for the program, um, was it easy to enroll or uh, did you get any assistance either in your country or from EAH already? The Roman was easy. Uh, the instructions were so clear. Um, the web page from Elizabeth Hochschule is really easy to use. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the design. It's really clean. I face another web page that, hmm. <laughs> a lot of information, a lot of links, where I don't know where I have to to click, but uh, this web page is really easy. Mm -hmm. I get assistance, but only in legal matters of where I can translate my documents from okay. Spanish to, mm -hmm. to German in my country. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a nice thing that you can download a checklist in, in PDF format, so you can, oh, okay, I got this, I got this, I got, I got that. And it was really use. It was it was really easy to to apply to send the money and all that. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So I take it that you would recommend the EAH in Jena to your friends and, and peers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm a, to my friends. I always tell the this really uh, little history that. Um, Maybe I'm in Paradise Park, or maybe mm. <laughs> um, waiting for a for my coffee in a coffee shop. And I always like to talk with people, and they always ask me, uh, "Hey, you are not from here. Where are you?" And I will, because my country is it's a really small country with only 10 million. Mm. I if I'm in a hurry, I always say, uh, uh, "My name is Raúl, and I come from Latin America." And they and they always go ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 expecting that I, I will say like I'm from Colombia or I'm from Mexico, mm -hmm. but if I have time I no I come from Honduras where I really country like it's really small, and so uh, the city and the people here is really nice they are all polite, uh, I, I really like how uh, Germans here are, are really polite if you're eating good an appetite, if <laughs> if you are going in a in vacation good reise. Uh. And I think one guy told me Gute Durst because I was really sweating and I was <laughs> drinking water. I, I think I, I maybe I misunderstood. This uh, one is not as common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gute Durst. <laughs> and so I would recommend it. The, um, here the, the city is really nice. Uh, you can go to hike. Uh, the professor in this program they are really uh, they are really concerned about if you're getting the information. Uh, the examination, uh, they are according to the syllabus, uh, the, 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 the level of difficulty is according to what you have seen in class. Okay. So, and, and yeah, the, the program is really attractive, uh, something that uh, they were really concerned about letting, uh, giving you the theoretical information, but also a company with these uh, labs, so you can have you can have this hand-on experience, and it's a better way. It's a it's a, it's a better it's the better thing to do to put in practice what you have learned, what you have read or or what you have learned. Mm -hmm. um, were there any surprises um, in terms of studies or um, cultural experiences, like? Um, being told guten <laughs> Durst, um, was, there, was there anything that surprised you when you came here? Yes, uh, well my first cultural ex shock, my first cultural shock was tilting windows. <laughs> you have to explain that I think for some, uh, really? what is a tilting window? <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> uh, I, I was in my, in my room and I was cleaning mm -hmm. and I wanted to, to you know, to ventilate the, because I really don't like the smell of the the thing we the chemical we use for cleaning the floor. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ventilate it, and I opened the window, <laughs> and suddenly it comes to my head. And I went, oh, what, is, what is that? Mm -hmm. uh, and I was, oh my god, my, I just had three days here, and I broke the wind with the window. <laughs> but I googled it, and now it's it's a really common thing here. Yeah. So you googled it? Yeah, I googled yeah. it. I googled it because <laughs> what did I do? Wrong? Because I have it has okay. the 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 map. It has two positions. So yeah, yeah. this <laughs> tilt and this open. And yeah, no, I, I have to Google. In doubt, just Google it. And and yeah, the uh, the second thing uh, just is a significant thing. Like here, the cashiers are really fast passing all your <laughs> things in the supermarket. <laughs> And like I was telling you, I, I, I got only the, the level two of German and I, 
when I came here, I wanted to practice every, you know, the, the mug and, mm. uh, but the, here the cashier, they don't have time for mm -hmm. small talks of tick, 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 mm -hmm. pay and go and bye bye. Mm -hmm. True. And, but, but, but only that, but only that. Um, I really like the city. I, it's true that maybe here in Germany, they don't smile in the street or they don't smile in the public transport. But once you get in the, in the you get to know him, you get to sit beside them and you want to start a talk, they're really polite. Okay, so those were the surprises. And um, were there any things, anything that you found to be a challenge? I mean, besides from the language and maybe a cultural uh, differences, but maybe the food or the weather. <laughs> I imagine the weather <laughs> might be... Yes. Have, you, have you been here in February already? April. If, April, okay, so, so you missed... So you missed the snow. Yeah. But that would have been okay. The negative twenty three <laughs> degrees that Jenna experienced in yeah, November was, of last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here I get to know the snow. I really I never saw or touched the snow, so I <laughs> I meet the snow here. Um, yeah, the, the language uh, well I, I think the social media has been like so unfair with German language. Mm -hmm. Because you will always going to see videos like it's really difficult. It's really difficult, but <laughs> yeah. but but it's unfair. I mean, you have to show the good things about the German language. The German has uh, this uh, really nice word, for, uh, Wanderlust. Mm. I really like it, mm -hmm. and uh, all the pronunciation is true. Like they sound like, hmm. but they have words. The pronunciation is really nice to the ear, like Hülle. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds really nice um, but 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 yeah um, uh, I'm aware that in order to have a complete integration I need to improve my German and I'm looking forward to do it I'm on it mm -hmm. um, in the food uh, yes uh, for example one of the main ingredients in my country is red beans mm -hmm. uh, here are you can find it as kidney, kidney bone mm -hmm. But they are so big and they don't t taste like ours. Ours are better. <laughs> and, and yeah, uh, I think this is the and corn tortillas is something that we always eat in Latin America, mm -hmm. Mexico. Mexico, they are really popular for that, for tacos. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, the language, yeah, the food. And, and yeah, um, in, in, in the financial aspect, uh, Rent is really expensive here. Mm. It's more mm. expensive than my country, uh, but uh, it's not so expensive as, as other city. So, so yeah, uh, I think those three are the main things you're going to face. This like, oh, this is different from my country. Mm. Oh, this is something that mm. uh, that I was not expecting. Mm. May I ask, are you living in uh, student housing? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, we we made another uh, podcast about um, possibilities uh, for students to to live in these community houses. Yes, I, I never miss the, okay. the the podcast mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm. I maybe understand maybe twenty percent, <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, uh, that's the way I practice my my okay. hearing. Cool. Yeah, listen to podcast, uh, mm -hmm. never skipping YouTube commercial mm -hmm. and all that. <laughs> yeah. What about um, social contacts? Is it easy for you to find friends or I mean, it's a special situation now that there's Corona and most of the classes are taught online, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it a challenge for you to get in touch with other students um, and, and Germans? And um, yeah, how about social life for you? Now? Yes, uh, the Corona situation has added, uh, I think, uh, a little bit more difficulty in to do this but for example in my specific case uh, in my master program uh, I think that 90% of the students they are Indians mm -hmm. and Indians they are a cultural that they are very hospitable mm -hmm. uh, they, they really showed interest and in know me because they see my name and my and my last name hey this guy is not from here <laughs> uh, so they always message me um, in the classes that we have uh, that we were able to open our videos um, um, we always share and at least get to know face to face in at, at least through a computer and and then, and at least yeah in a specific case uh, I get to know my classmates 
thanks to the technology. When I came here in April, I was uh, using these hashtags in social media to to find things related to Jenna, related to activities of my interest. Mm -hmm. And e even though that we have this corona situation in April and the lockdown was really severe, uh, I, I was able to, to get some person here in Jenna. Uh, and, I made, and I made this uh, one German friend. Uh, I, I call her my, I call her I call her my friend because she invited me to her birthday picnic <laughs> and in my understanding uh, Germans are like uh, this uh, they don't give you the, the friendship so easily you need to gain and to <laughs> and to build more trust and that but she invited me to the picnic I I meet her her other friends and and yeah I, I, Maybe it's going to be more easier if we don't have this corona situ situation. Mm -hmm. But 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 yeah, uh, it's, it's, I think that um, you have to give it a try. You have to uh, learn about how to how to overcome these difficult times. Yeah. It's nice to hear that they're all in contact with each other. Uh, yes. all, the, all the international students. Yes, we have a WhatsApp group, and, mm -hmm. and the international department has made a, a great job by mm -hmm. ha having these uh, Fridays where you can uh, play or where you can learn about other cultures. Uh, we just we just got in the previous week. We, uh, well, last Friday we got a picnic in Paradis Park, mm -hmm. and uh, and the day before that we got a hiking route here in Jena. Um, so so yeah. Uh, yeah, Ernst Abe Hochschule has been really brave and handled the situation and prepare all the all the classes and prepare all the things that the students can have. Uh, how can I say? Uh, can have um, um, interaction. Interaction. Mm -hmm. Interaction with with others. Yes, mm -hmm. oh, that's great. And um, how do you stay in touch with your family and friends at home? I guess. And the internet helps. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I use internet. I use mm. uh, these video calls uh, mm. and message. Uh, I, I remember the first time my, my mom made this killer lasagna. I mean, it's a, the sauce is a, like a really amazing the way she she prepared it. And I was like two hours in a video phone call. Hey, mom, what should I use? I <laughs> hear the paprika is really expensive. I don't have it. Why can't I use instead of that? Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, phone calls, video calls, message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I never. Uh, well, I, I'm very stick to my family, and I always call them. I always message. Hey, look, I'm here hiking. I'm here walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that. Sounds good. Looking into the future, do you have any plans already uh, for after your master, you finish your master's degree? Do you have a vision for the future? Yes, um, I, I I would like to work here. I'm looking forward to learn German. I am aware that um, here in Turingen and here in Jena, the most of the company, the language is Dutch. Mm. Uh, I managed to have two interviews uh, at. Unfortunately, they say no because I was not good at expressing myself in, in, in Dutch. But uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to learn the language, to work here. Um, Germany and German engineers are really worldwide known for the precision, for they are good making machines. And I really like to learn, to learn uh, this culture of working this, uh, and all the good things that uh, this country has to give um, and, and, and well um, I, I, maybe in five years I will be here working uh, I, I, I really like uh, these things about um, the, the optimal use of resources mm -hmm. and at least as an electrical engineering I will say like the optimal usage of electricity mm -hmm. is I mean biofuels or the way we can develop um, machines that they don't consume so much electricity and all that mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. good luck <laughs> thank you cross fingers yeah. <laughs> and um, is there any advice that you would give other international students when they if they think about coming here to the ERH besides maybe 
being a little proficient in, in German and English? And is there any advice besides that? I, I will say that uh, give a look to the web page. Mm -hmm. uh, they have another, a lot of interesting programs. Uh, yes, it's true that I think this is the only one in English, but uh, you can study here and specialize in mechatronics and industrial engineering. And not only in engineering, besides there are only, and there are a lot of other programs. And, and well, I, I will have to say that my recommendation is besides <laughs> have proficiency in German. Uh, if, if you're an engineering, uh, if you're an engineer, sorry, uh, learn a programmation language. Uh, okay. Here, uh, at least here in Turing, and I have, I have seen that they lack of uh, these programming skills, IT skills. And, and the other thing is that um, besides academic things, I will say that uh, just uh, give, a, give it a shot and don't be shy. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, you have to, I, I have, in my opinion, I have this term called, you have to, pr you have to pay the novice, the novice price. And what, what is this? Uh, when you're a novice, you are the first doing this, you are the first doing that, uh, you are the worst doing this. But every expert at the beginning was a novice. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a noob. And, but if you are afraid to do it or you are afraid to try, you will never learn what are your capabilities. Mm -hmm. So don't be shy. Uh, you have to praise the novice price and, and keep practicing and keep practicing until you got it. Mm -hmm. And then you're paving the way for the others. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, if you have this, this desire in your heart, you can be that teacher that maybe you were missing mm -hmm. while you were uh, learning something. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. That's really good advice. And in general, not just for studying at the EAH. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes, it's, it's been a pleasure. It's been very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for Thank inviting me. Thank you very much for coming here and talking to us. And um, we're looking forward to the next episode. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.